It is nearly 10 o'clock and I've had a fairly leisurely morning because I actually slept pretty much all the way through the night last night, which was amazing. I've got up, I've put on a nice outfit, which makes me feel good. This is my other version of the Pauline Alice Cami dress. Um, got my hair off my face, which always makes me feel good. Going for a makeup free day because, you know, what's the point in putting makeup on your face? And Roly is grumbling. What are you grumbling about, boo boo? It's one of those things, you know, when you put on an outfit that you like, it automatically makes you feel really, really like positive and happy. Um, I've got my white horse sweater on today, which is Boiler Knitworks patterns, the same sweater that I wore on my birthday. And yeah, I'm feeling kind of in limbo today. Yesterday was a weird day. I didn't actually film, which is why you got the video that you got yesterday. Um, we spent most of the day looking at car seats, <laughs> um, which we've now purchased a car seat, which is great because we've basically done all of the shopping that we need before the baby is here. I still need to pick up some things for a hospital bag, but we're, we're pretty much on track. Um, but good grief, the, the amount of information there is about car seats and the pressure to feel like you're buying the right one and then they're all so expensive. And I mean, it's pretty much like anything that you buy for a small human. You are really pressurized into getting it right. So it's intimidating to say the least, but got the car seat now, sorted. Hopefully by the end of today, I will have everything ready for our hospital bag because although we still have several weeks before the due date, uh, everyone's kind of making me feel a little bit anxious. They're like, oh, any time now, any time now they could arrive. And I honestly feel that if they were going to come, I would have felt something by now, you know, in my body, in my, something would have changed and things have been relatively consistent other than, you know, general day-to-day -day changing of how I feel and that type of thing. But um, I think they're going to hold out for a little bit longer. Fingers crossed they do because whew, it would be crazy if they came right now. Will I ever be ready for them to arrive? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we do have quite a lot of tasks to do today. So I'm hoping that I can get a kickstart on those this morning and then I'm going to be going over to my parents to hang out a little bit later. Um, busy, busy, busy. So I'm going to start off, I think, just by finishing my coffee and writing a list for the week, which is something that I like to do um, just so that I have everything clear in my mind as to what I want to achieve in the next week. And obviously, if my time is going to be limited, if the baby suddenly turns up, I want to make sure that I've got all of the important things done first. So, so yeah, that's what's happening at the moment. And um, I hope that you guys are all having a lovely morning so far or evening or whatever time you may be watching this video. And I will check in with you a little bit later. I thought I would give you a quick cozy memories blanket update. I have been true to my word, I've been putting four squares in this every day. Um, yesterday I actually put six in here. <laughs> um, we were watching some TV last night, um, the new series of Big Mouth on Netflix we've been watching and it is hilarious. Um, it's an animated series that's all about um, young people going through puberty. It is quite um, rude, so if you don't like things like the swears and that type of thing, it might not be for you, but it is very, very funny. Um, if you're a fan of things like Family Guy and South Park, but from a teenager perspective, you will like it a lot. But off topic, um, it's looking really nice. I'm really happy with it, and it's actually bringing me huge amounts of joy adding squares onto this. Um, so yeah, very, very happy. Um, I went through some of my minis and picked out some other um, things to add into it. I have four colours in here. So I'm going to um, probably start one of these squares now while I'm waiting for the Ikea delivery, which hopefully will be here in about half an hour. So I'm going to do that now. Um, and then I will be off 
to the shops and doing some other stuff around the house and then going to my parents. So all in all, a pretty good day. Right. So there's a couple of boxes here, um, which are way too heavy for me to to lift and take upstairs. But luckily, there are a couple of squidgy parcels which I can take upstairs, which I'm going to do now. And I'm going to do a little bit of sorting out in the nursery, and then have some lunch, and then go shopping. So, <laughs> yay! Exciting day. <laughs> lunch I um, decided to do this aubergine gnocchi gratin from HelloFresh. This is actually one of the HelloFresh things that we got from last week but Emrys decided he didn't want to eat it because he's not a fan of aubergine and he, well, I'm not entirely sure why we got it if he's not a fan of aubergine but um, his loss is my gain because I get to cook it and then I'll keep it in the fridge um, like leftovers and be able to eat it for little lunches for the next couple of days. So it's currently in the oven cooking away. I've done the majority of the cooking now. Um, so I'm just waiting for that to grill and then I shall have a lovely veggie lunch. So this is really nice because this is kind of bringing me back to vegetarian food because the only thing in here that is non-vegan is um, some Italian cheese. So you could even do this vegan if you wanted to. But, um, but yeah, I'm really excited to see how it comes out because it was really quite easy to do and it smells delicious and looks amazing and it's filled with veggie goodness. So hooray! I'm just thinking, I don't actually know if gnocchi is vegan. It probably has eggs in it. So um, so I was lying <laughs> when I said that um, it could be vegan. You could do it with pasta, I guess, um, like vegan pasta or something like that. But um, but yeah, vegetarian is as close as I'm getting to vegan at the moment. But I'm very proud of myself for trying. So yay! Here it is. Looks pretty awesome. So um, I'm going to cut myself a little portion and eat it, and we'll see how it is. <laughs> Well, it certainly looks delicious. So let's see how it tastes. Roly is desperate for some, as always. But um, yeah, let's give it a try. That was successful. Oh, it was so yummy. And also, sleeping boy. Oh my gosh, he's so cute when he's asleep in his bed. Love him. It's just turned two o'clock and I must admit I've hit a bit of a slump. <sighs> Trying to be responsible and do the things that I need to do while I still have time. But actually, <laughs> actually doing them is hard. It's hard. Particularly because I cleaned the kitchen before I made my lunch. And now obviously the kitchen needs cleaning again. <laughs> it's like a never ending thing. I actually really like cleaning my kitchen though because I love it when it's all fresh and gorgeous afterwards. So I'll probably give it a quick once over um, and then head out. But um, sitting down is so good. That's why I'm sitting a lot in the kitchen today rather than the living room where I usually go because I know if I get on that sofa and Rolly comes and sits on my lap, as I know he will, that there will be just 
no going back. We will be asleep for the rest of the day. So I'm trying to, within reason, obviously, I'm not pushing too hard, so don't worry, um, do as much as I can. But it's been a very task-heavy day and very baby-focused, which again is fine. It's just a bit, feels a bit intense today. It's a very baby focused day and sometimes that makes me really nervous <laughs> because who knows what's going to happen. Ooh. Anyway, I should probably focus on some tasks because that will most likely make me feel a lot better to check a lot of stuff off the to-do list. And then I just get to go to my parents' house and have a lovely relaxed evening with them. So I did it. Yeah. I got out of the house. I um got in my car. It's coming into um our local kind of town to get some bits and pieces. But first of all, I needed to pick up petrol. Pick up petrol. I need to get petrol because there's no petrol in in the car. Um the little light had been going off the last time that I drove. So I thought I'll go and get the petrol. And this just shows how much of a Swiss cheese brain I have at the moment. Um, basically what happened <laughs> was that um, I was using a different card than I usually use um, and I couldn't remember the pin number so I was kind of trying to remember the pin number um, and then obviously when you go in you have to tell them which pump that you used to um, to get fuel and I nearly just told them my pin number <laughs> my god luckily I didn't I caught myself just in time but I was like oh better not do that that's not great but now I'm here I'm going to go to the charity shop first and then pick up a few bits and pieces and um yeah then hopefully just have a bit of a chill out for the rest of the day but I do feel better for being a little bit more dynamic and getting out of the house so yay for that <laughs> I'm home with this little guy <laughs> Oh, that took a lot longer than I was anticipating. <laughs> I forget that even when I drive to places, um, actually just walking around takes me a lot longer than I'd anticipate now. Um, picked up everything that I needed. Had a really, really weird interaction with a woman um, who was taking my payment in Next. Just people do get very weird about how they talk to people when they're pregnant. Um, one of the things that people do is that they're like, you're having a boy. Everybody seems obsessed with the fact that I'm having a boy. And as I always say, well, we don't actually know because we've opted for a surprise. And they say, oh, no, getting a boy vibe from you. And <laughs> that's fine. But let's be honest, you don't know that I'm having a boy. Nobody knows. The only person who knows is the person who did my scan, who knows for sure whether or not they're a boy or not. <laughs> And it's just this weird obsession that people have and they'll always look you up and down and really scrutinise your bump and how you look and everything and they'll be like, no, I can tell that you're going to have a boy. When you've opted to not know the sex of your baby and have it as a surprise, it's just kind of weird when everybody else is more obsessed with the sex of your unborn child than you are. So I know that there's no, um, there's nothing malicious meant by it. But it is, it's just a little bit, just a little bit weird, really. She was very pushy though. She was like, oh, what names have you got picked out? And we said, oh, I said rather, we do have some picked out, but um, we haven't really decided because we want to meet them first. Oh, tell me all your options. And I was like, I haven't told even my closest friends and family <laughs> what our name options are. So surprisingly enough, I'm not going to tell you, strange woman, who's taking my payment at next, but yeah, people can get very pushy, but that's fine. I'm home. Oh, I've just had a couple of minutes to catch my breath and get some things together to take to my parents, and I'm going to go and collapse on their sofa. And um, Rolly is incredibly excited. Aren't you? You're so excited. Look at your excited face. He will be excited when we get there because he loves my parents more than life itself. So that will be great. So I'm just going to get his bits together, aren't I? And then we shall we shall head on over. Busy, busy day. I am going to sleep incredibly well tonight, I think. Mummy, <laughs> are you happy now? 
You with your favourite. You're Rolly's favourite. <laughs> You're my favourite, Rolly. You the favourite grandpa. Yeah. And you must be his favourite grandpa. <laughs> then we have a favourite. Favourite bump. First grandchild. <laughs> you will always be my favourite first yeah. grandchild. <laughs> They might be your only grandchild for all you know. <laughs> yeah. You've already got such a good grandpa. Yeah, you're getting all the cuddles. <laughs> good boy. Oh. What have you been working on? <laughs> Look. A cross -stitch. This is cross stitch number two for the baby's room. And it's amazing. There's a lot to do. Stitch Rovia, and it's going to look like this when it's done. So there's still lots of little details and stuff to go in. Yeah, but it looks amazing so far. You need to get a wiggle on though, don't you? Yeah, you don't hang on a bit. <laughs> Keep my legs crossed until you're done. This is what I've been doing in the labour ward. <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful. What a wonderful world. Rolly's not impressed. He's going to sleep in the kitchen. <laughs> and considering that you broke your arm <laughs> and yeah, you're still doing it. The left and not the right. Yeah. You can still do it. And your arm is better than it was, isn't Definitely it? Definitely better. Yay. <laughs> it's awesome. Yay. Yay! No, he's gone. He's left us. He's not interested. <laughs>